Cialis, and welcome to Chicago and the famed Aragon Ballroom for tonight's main event. 15 rounds of middleweight action. We are looking forward to this fight, especially after seeing what happened at the weigh-in yesterday. A stare down that nearly resulted in a bout breaking out right there. Now they get to do it for real. And his opponent across the ring with a record of 26 victories, 22 by way of knockout, and five defeats. Fighting on a box snore, Fernando El Fals Vargas. We went over the rules in the dressing room. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. I want to see some head. Round number one is now underway. All the talk is done. It is simply time to fight. Excellent one-two by Jake Lamada. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Vargas is. Got to do a better job. He is getting rocked. Able to cover up that gut. And now just wasting away some time with that clinch. We've sat through thousands and thousands of fights together ringside. And sometimes you can tell just from the start, like a fight like this, of what you're going to see down the road. And what you're not going to see. You're not going to see a lot of guys running. You're not going to see a lot of defense. You're going to see two guys coming and letting it all lay out. And Jake LaMotta digs deep for that uppercut. That's a stinging right hand by Vargas. Now he's putting his punches together, the combination upstairs. 90 seconds to go here in this round. Nice strike after catching one by Fernando Vargas. You see him zeroing in with that left hand to the body. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Lamada's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good smooth work by Jake Lamada. That's classic counterpunching. Yeah, what he did was he pulled that right shoulder back. You know, he just pulled it back, gave him the left shoulder, and then gave him the right hand. Oh, what an exchange! Turns over that hook upstairs. He clearly came in with a strategy here tonight, Teddy, and so many times, it's, hey, I'm gonna bang that drum. Yeah, he is banging that drum. That drum happens to be the body. And he figures that he's gonna try to move on him, so start doing it early on, and later on, he's gonna have a guy in front of him. You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Yeah, we'll we'll keep go. scoring points. Just keep yeah. throwing punches. All night long, this is your fight. Vargas is back. Look at him here in the start of this round. Remember, he got tagged hard in that last round. Well, that's the reward you get when you have a good camp and you get yourself in top shape. Unable to make an impact there by Jake Lamada. Very accurate with the overhand right. able to land the headshot and he ties up on the inside that's a nice right hand that time by Vargas comes across with a hook up top halfway through this round Jake LaMotta's defense is it ever good look at how easy he's able to block those punches He just missed that shot up top. Good, strong uppercut. He comes right back with it after taking one. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Good 
job on the two punch combo oh, by Vargas. Vargas's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. Ten clicks of the talk. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Carry it away and you'll catch it. Got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch it. You're gonna catch it. You're doing fine. He's just beating you to the punch. That's all. And round number three is underway. He missed with that headshot. Jake Lombardo's doing a good job of putting his punches together. His opponent's got to be wondering, how do I stop this? Well, right now, hey, you, you made a good point there because right now his opponent is wondering too much. You know, he's just busy blocking the punches, wondering about the combinations. He's not getting off. And that had some bite to it, that right hand by Vargas. Lamada's almost looking foolish that time he missed so badly. Get him, get him. Boy, oh boy, that's tough to Move. take. Move. Body shot, body shot. Keep moving. Good work, toe to toe there. Both fighters got in on him. You're not for pace yourself. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Vargas. Right to the belt line. The combo lands upstairs. Not able to land the uppercut. He is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Fernando Vargas is trying to survive this. He is... Oh, and there you go. Oh, that's beautiful stuff, Teddy. That is beautiful work with that combination to score the knockdown. Well, that's the benefit of putting them together. One sets up the other one. One, two, three, four, five. And round three comes to an end. Fucking beautiful. That was, that was fucking amazing. I want another round like that. This is your fight, okay? You're in complete control of this fight. Nice, relaxed. Interesting first three rounds we've seen so far. Vargas is willing to engage in the fight. He's willing to throw punches, but he's losing every round. Yeah, I mean, you can throw punches, but it's kind of like spitting in the wind. You know, you could spit, but if the wind's blowing at you, it's going to come back and hit you in the face, and that's exactly what's happening here. He's throwing punches from the wrong direction, from the wrong distance, and they're coming back and hitting him right in the face. A headshot blocked. Vargas is taking a lot of punishment, maybe too much punishment for an experienced referee like the one we have in there today to just keep on watching. Yeah, you would expect him to be ready to do his job. Sometimes his job is to keep them fighting, you know, to make sure they break. Sometimes it's to stop the fight. I think it's that time now. They both decide to bring it. Vargas is swinging and missing like he's at bat right there. That punch was nowhere near his opponent. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. How about a return to sender with the left hand? Great movement to get away from those punches. Vargas has got to be really careful here, Teddy. That eye has gotten to a point where this fight could be stopped at any time. Well, the key is that it's above the eye, so of course it's impairing the vision. The blood, when it trickles down, nice he can't work, see. Nice and that's what the referee's going to be looking for. What impact from that uppercut by Vargas. Oh, you got this one. Beat him to the punch. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Lamada's had success so far 
just based on his pure hand and foot speed. But there is some concern. Yeah, you know, you got a guy with a real fast car. He needs a racetrack. He needs the right place to use that speed to kind of run with it a little bit. Right now, his opponent needs to change that landscape. Don't give him that racetrack. Step out of range a little bit and leave him there. Let him shadow box, but don't stay in a position where it can be effective. Excellent one-two by Jake Lamada. Keep working the body. That straight right unable to connect. And now he's targeting upstairs. Lamada's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know a lot of people are going to say Teddy's just an aggressive fighter. No. He understands in his corner understands that his opponent only had 60 seconds to recover and they're jumping on him, figuring that their opponent hasn't recovered. Good work with the uppercuts. Nice job there. Nice. There he is zoning in, the old one-two. Off to the side. A little... And it's over! This fight is over. Lamada's night is over. The cut causes the end of the fight. He is TKO.